Hey naturals, it's your girl Nikki Natural when I'm back in the building. Hello. Alright guys, so today I'm here to talk about no oil, no butter challenge. Alright, so you know, it's, well if you haven't heard about it, I'm going to tell you about it. So it's a new trending, um, it's a new trend in the natural hair community and it's going wild. So it all started with experts, um, professional health, well, experts, health, healthcare or hair related experts who um, came up with the idea. They were saying that the oils and the butters are not good for your hair because it forms a coating on your hair and prevents the moisture from the air or from any outside source from entering into your hair so thus making your hair dry and prone for breakage all right so guys do you believe that do you honestly believe that all right let's spill the tea all right so note i'm a medical professional yes but i am not a hairstylist or a cosmetologist i'm not a hair expert so i'm just sharing my so don't bash me in the comment section show me some love okay <laughs> all right so guys what i think about this challenge um i think everyone should have an idea of how their hair is right so no one knows your hair as best as you do right so even though you go to a hair specialist a cosmetologist you can still tell them hey this my hair hates this, my hair loves this, my hair works or thrive in this particular temperature. All right, so you know your hair as be um, better than anybody else does, All right? So saying this to say that if you find a treatment or a regimen that is suitable and your hair is loving it, your hair stays hydrated, your curls are defined, your curls are bouncing, I don't see why you'd want to switch to no butter, no oils. If oils and butters have been working for you and haven't caused you any hair damage, haven't caused you any breakage, especially if you've been using it for years right and also i say this there are persons whose scalp actually produce a lot of oils and i think if you have a hair a hair type or scalp that actually produces a lot of oils then um you might want to consider the challenge or you can try it out right but let's say you're somebody who your scalp really does not produce any form of oil. Um, definitely, you're in for some major surprises, right? So your scalp gonna be stubborn, and there's no grease, no oils coming, no oil, sorry, coming from your scalp. So, or let's say there's none or little to none coming from your scalp. What's gonna be there to moisturize or to create that that um what's the that slip when you're combing your hair when you're styling your hair that ease that sheen you know where your hair gonna get that from so they're saying so what they're saying you should use gels and mousses and conditioners and you should shampoo your hair and do a 30 days detox hello 30 days what? detox <laughs> i'm fine i don't wash my hair very often and my hair it actually works for me and i don't have to i don't have to wash it very often and i don't have any problem my hair is easy to manage it maintains moisture and it's fine it loves the butter and it loves the oils right i don't really have dry hair like that my hair does not it doesn't dry out my hair like that so i'll stick to it so i'll say this so guys if you find something that you have been working for you and so why jump to no oil no butter when you don't even know how your hair is going to react to it you might end up with a severe breakage 
because really and truly we don't even know all the details surrounding this challenge so let's say they say okay shampoo and condition condition your hair and then use your gels and all of that and then there's something else that they say and you miss that out and your hair becomes dry and brittle and all of that all right so guys I'm saying this to say that if you want to try it go right ahead there are persons who have said that they've tried it and it's been working for them and their hair feels better so if you think that your hair can manage it then go right ahead but as for me myself and i i'll be sticking to my hair grease where it I'll be sticking to my hair grease. And guess what? I've been hearing people talking about, okay, so I'll, I'll do the 30 days challenge and also just work with my, my hair grease. Where does oil come from? If you heat this hair grease, what do you get? You get oils. It's the same thing, sis. It's the very same thing. So, when they say ditch oils and butters, they're saying ditch your grease. Grease is my best friend. I ain't ditching my grease for nothing, for nobody. Okay? So, I, I just want to share with you guys just a few comments that I've been reading on um, that what persons have been saying about this trend. So, let me just share quickly. So they're saying that the grease, the, the gel that you're going to use for this challenge, it should be botanical gels and not plastic gels. So they consider eco gel as a plastic gel. Right. So whatever that is, I, I don't really know much about those gels, but you can go and research it. All right. So. Here, here are the responses. So some persons are saying oils and butters send their hair to hell. So it's a mixture. So persons who are agreeing to it and those who are against it. So this person is agreeing to it and saying that for their experience, um, oils and butters actually send their hair to hell. So they stay away from it. Somebody say um, some persons can can use random products while some can't so you know that doing this challenge means that you have to research find products that work for you new products if you haven't gotten a gel or a mousse or a conditioner that works for you you have to go on the market and do your research and some persons may experience breakage because their hair is not used to a particular product they have sensitive hair like mine, oh my god, I don't even want to go back there. And you might end up with breakage, right? Alright, so somebody saying that, you know, that these trends are too extreme. <laughs> too extreme. No oils, no butters. Too extreme. Somebody else is saying it is working as oils and butters make their hair greasy and dry. So... They're saying that the method is working for them because oils and butters dry out their hair. Another person saying that the issue is having a heavy hand. So too much of anything is not good. So whether it be... So they're saying basically that you can use your oils and butters but use it in moderation. So not too much, not too little. So in moderation. Alright guys. So that's my take on the whole issue no oils no butters let me know what you think in the comment section i'm just sharing my view um i'm not fully aware of all the the do's and the don'ts of this challenge i'm still learning still gathering information from here and there so as time goes by if i gather anything that i think you guys should know then i will definitely update you so thank you so much for tuning into my channel do have a wonderful rest of the day bye